Hey guys, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I'm out here today on Fort Loudon Reservoir to do some bank fishing for catfish. I'm hoping to break in my new rods today. I've tried filming this video two other times and I have failed miserably both times. The first trip I went out with these new rods, I caught a dang nice fish. It was a whopper actually, but it wasn't on the new rods. It was on one of my old setups. The last time I went out with them, Again, I caught some fish, but they were all small, and they came on my old rods, not on the new ones. So hopefully today, we're going to get the bad juju off these new rods and break them in with hopefully a whopper. So let me just kind of show them to you here. These rods, these are Okuma Longitude surf fishing rods. Now, I ultimately went with the 9-foot model. I had initially ordered the 12-foot. These particular rods, they come in casting and spinning. I'm more of a casting gear kind of guy, but the casting version comes in a 9-foot and a 12-foot. And I had initially ordered the 12-foot model, but they showed up broke. Uh, the guides were popped out of them, I guess, due to the shipping. So I sent them back, but when I was thinking about it, I was like, you know, I know, you know, I'm a big Catfish Dave fan. He's the best bank fisherman that I know of. He likes the 12-foot models, but I was like, you know, I don't really need that 12-foot model. I don't need that extra casting distance because I'm not going to be fishing in places like uh, boat ramps or public parks, places where I'm going to have to just be forced to cast a long ways to get where the fish are. I'm going to be using my kayak to access places on the bank like I have done here today in this creek channel that I'm in where I don't necessarily need to make a super long cast. I need to cast farther than what my regular seven foot ugly sticks allow me to do but i don't need to do you know super long cast so i think this nine foot model is going to work out well for me at least i hope anyway now the other advantage to this setup here is these rods are a they're heavy action they're much stiffer than the ugly sticks that i use for my regular fishing and that's kind of important to me on fishing off the bank because when you're bringing these fish up in super shallow water one of the things i have struggled with with my ugly stick rods is having enough backbone to kind of drag them across you know one two foot of water a few inches of water whatever i'm in to get them to me on the shore so i'm hoping the extra backbones that these akuma longitude rods provide i'm hoping that's going to help me just land the fish a little easier so we're going to try them out today uh, the reels on them there you've seen those in a previous video where i'd put them on my old rods to do some bank fishing that's Daiwa seagate that's the sgt 35 model i've got that spooled with uh 40 pound test berkeley big game monofilament and i've just got a carolina rig here 10 aught must have demon circle hook and for bait today it's kind of going to be a hodgepodge i've got some shad i got some gizzard shad the other day so they're like three days old uh which i don't really like using shad that old but it's what i got so we're going to go with it i've also got some frozen skipjack in the cooler we're going to throw out there as well but where i'm at today i'm like i said i'm on fort loudon reservoir this is just a big creek that's what this is this comes in here off the main channel so where i position my kayak here on the shore i'm going to be able to hit over that edge there on the on the creek channel where it starts to come up here on the bank which is about 45 feet of water and i'm going to be able to easily hit that i could probably truthfully speaking hit that with my uh ugly stick rods casting here from where i'm at so uh the new akuma longitude rods will be no problem hitting that but uh We'll get these baits on here and hopefully, again, hopefully we're going to get the bad juju off these rods and be able to finally break them in. Let's get to it. All right, guys, there's the first bait there. That is just a basically a gizzard shad cut in half, both the body section and the head section on the hook. We'll cast it out here. I'm not going to make a real long cast with this one. Send it out there. It's going to be a little bit higher up on that ledge. And my other two, I'm going to send over down there along the bottom of it. All right, there's that bait there. It's the big, ugly skipjack head. Nasty, bloody thing. Love it. My favorite bait in the world for big catfish. So we're going to launch that one out there. We'll get that one over the edge. Get my backlash out there. I'm still getting used to these reels. All right, guys, there's the last bait there. Just a skipjack body section. There it goes. Thank you. 
All right, guys, we set up and fishing. Hopefully, Mr. Whiskers comes along soon. Fish on. Fish on. Hooked up guys, fish number one on the new rods here. I'm excited just to get a fish on these dang things, man. It has been a rough go getting a bad juju off these things. So far I'm liking the feel of it. That 12 foot model just to hold it in your hand was heavy. I don't know what the actual weight on it was, but it was a heavy rod. This nine foot model is much lighter. Same heavy action, but it's a lighter, lighter actual weight to hold. Let's see if I can get this fish in every one of my lines here. <laughs> oh, he just a little thing. Just a little one. All right, y'all. There he is. He ain't much, but. We got the skunk out of one of them rods anyway. <laughs> Let's let him go. Get out of here, blue cat. Go get big for me. You get big someday. If you find your way back home. There he goes. All right, I got another piece of skipjack on there. We'll cast it out there in that same general area that the last one was. He's on there. Had a dink messing with that rod for 15, 20 minutes probably. I was getting ready to reel that bait in actually. It's going to switch it out because I figured it had probably been chewed up. We'll listen up here and get a look at him. I don't think he's too terribly big. But I'm happy to get a fish. End of the little dink. That's probably the one that's been down there messing with it forever. Nothing else. At least we sore lipped him. See, he'll quit messing with my baits. <laughs> that one right there is Henri, ain't he? He's still wanting to flop around. A little better than the last one, but still not the size I'm after today. I'm thankful for getting. Get on out of here, buddy. They always want to run right back up on shore for some reason. He'll find his way out here in a minute. There he goes. He's just still going along the shoreline now. <laughs> He'll turn eventually. Well, them skipjack body sections are what's getting hit, so we're going to try another. Fish on. Fish on. He's pulling, wasn't he? Had to get the camera uncovered. It's been raining a little bit. I've just been kind of riding it out. Rain, heavy rain ain't supposed to come in until tomorrow. After midnight, so. I know these light showers wasn't going to last long. Oh goodness. We got another golly whopper right here, man. Look at that beast. <laughs> oh, he's something, ain't he? Another little dink. Tell you, there's bad juju on these rods. Got to put your time in, got to wash that stuff off before you're going to get a big one on them. Oh 
Oh, my line. That line right there has swam. In fact, it's went a long ways. Over there. We're going to come around this way and we're going to reel down on it see if there's something on there. It must have swam back at me. Yeah, he's on there. He sure is. He Man, he went a long ways. He must have come in at me. Best I can figure. Because that clicker never went off. I thought my rod tip was moving or something there. It comes in the what limited light I have out here. When I flipped that light on, I saw my line has you know, swam over all my others. This is on that skipjack head. Oh, he's got me wrapped up in something down there. Crap. Oh, I'm in something. There he comes. Okay, good. So he looks like a blue. That ain't a bad one either, y'all. That ain't a bad one. Let's take a look at that thing. That's a pretty good fish. That ain't bad at all. So I got the skunk out now on that other rod over there. Finally caught one on it. And finally got a decent one. So I think we got the bad juju off it. I still got to get a big one on this other rod, but we getting there. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Well, let's let him go. We'll sling another bait out there. Get on out of here, buddy. Get on out of here. Now you done turned around the wrong way. Let's give him a little help here. Let's give him a little help. There he goes. See if he'll turn off there and go back home. Go home, pal. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, crap. Which one is it? Fish on. <laughs> he was peeling drag. Oh no, did he come off? Please don't tell me he come off. Get right there, y'all. Get right there. Hook could turn back in on the bait. Well, that's frustrating right there. I think that was probably a pretty good fish. Dang, man. There we go. We got that one. I don't think that one's as big as the one I lost. That stupid hook would turn back in on itself. That probably happened because of the bad juju from these other new rods, you know, just setting this rod setting so close to them. But we got this one. That clicker going off is exciting, y'all. I don't like fishing with the clicker, but I love it when it starts zinging. It gets my heart pumping. You just don't know what's coming up until you pick up on it. Pull him over here and take a look at him. He's acting a fool here now he's got up here on the shore. Just a little thing, another dink. We'll take him. He got my other line somehow. I don't know how that happened. Y'all, I want you to look at that. I just took that hook out. I took that hook out because that was the rod I reeled him in on. He has eaten my other bait down there too. Look at that. I'll be crap. <laughs> that 
that fish. I'll be doggone. That fish right there ate two of my baits, and I don't even know how that happened. I never even heard my other rods going off. He had two hooks in him. <laughs> Folks, I tell you what, every time you think you've seen and done it all, something else happens. Well, let's get, let him go. He had a big appetite tonight. <laughs> all right, y'all, solve the mystery. So, earlier, I was reeling in, I was going to switch out my baits, and I was reeling in, and I'd gotten hung, and I had to end up breaking off. That fish had got my bait down there that I broke off, so those other baits are still good out there. Blew my mind, though, when that fish come in with two of my baits in his mouth. <laughs> All right, y'all, I've been out here about five and a half hours now. Unfortunately, that's about all I got time for this evening. But I tell you what, I've had a pretty good trip out here today. I caught a few dinks and got that one decent sized fish and come a long ways toward getting this bad juju off these rods. I know some of you are going to scoff at the notion of bad juju, but I'm here to tell you it's a real thing. Case in point here is my kayak. You know, I was catching good fish all year long and then I switched kayaks and for two months I couldn't hardly catch anything. It took me that long to get the bad juju off this kayak and start catching fish again. Now I get these new bank fishing rods, same thing. I was using the, my old rods there for bank fishing for a while, catching good fish on every single trip, even at places like Melton Hill and Teleco, places that aren't known for big catfish. And I get these new rods and the bite slows down. That's just part of it. And you know, if you don't believe a bad juju, I can't help you. All I can do is just point out the facts. And the fact is, new equipment's got bad juju on it. But uh, I feel like I've come a long ways tonight toward ridding myself of it. Got that one decent fish there. And um, you know, these rods, I tell you what, I, I, I kind of like them so far. I mean, obviously I need to catch some golly whoppers on them to really put them to the test, but they feel good uh, reeling in the fish. So I'm enjoying that. But uh, yeah, guys, overall, pretty good trip. Had some fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. Oh, hang on. We got a bonus fish here, y'all. Bonus fish. Fish on. Well, this will be a test, y'all. For those of you who have watched till the end of the video, you're going to see one more fish. I just finished doing the closing. I'm getting ready to get my stuff packed up here. And this rod started zinging. Get him up here and take a look at him. <laughs> I ain't got my other my chest cam on. I'd put it up. We're going one camera here. Y'all can look at my back while I reel this fish in. <laughs> yeah, by gosh. We'll find out who watches to the end on this video. We'll know who's seen this last fish or not. Y'all, not only did I catch this fish, I caught a stick, too. Got a bonus. A stick's bigger than the fish is. All right, y'all. There he is. Last one of the night. For real this time. <laughs> Let's let him go. I'll see you in the next one.